There is a dragnet tonight for a previously unknown suspect in the Paris terror attacks. 130 people were killed last November. Charlie Daggett is in Belgium where another suspect was captured on Friday. New video appears to show Salah Abdeslam making a run for it. <laughs> even though Belgian security forces were just outside. He'd done it before, evading police for months before being caught last Friday. Investigators believe Abdeslam played a central role in the Paris attacks and had intended to blow himself up, but changed his mind. Now there's a new suspect, Najem Lashraoui, who may have been the group's bomb maker. His DNA was found on the explosives used in the gun and suicide attacks in Paris. His whereabouts are unknown and prosecutors admitted they aren't close to solving the puzzle. We're working on an enormous amount of cases, said Frederic Van Leeuw. They're becoming more and more worrying and violent. Authorities can't explain how Abdeslam was able to disappear for months, only to be captured a few blocks from his home in a Brussels neighborhood. Interior Minister Jan Yambon told us ISIS is growing more sophisticated. What took so long? They know everything about arms, they know everything about communication techniques. They hide, they have a network. So it's, a, it's, it's difficult, it's professionals against professionals. But there's another reason Abdeslam may have been able to hide in plain sight, according to Ann Speckard, an expert in violent extremism who's interviewed dozens of Islamic radicals here. These are really brutal, horrible people that went to Paris and gunned people down. So it's not beyond them to also punish anyone that would uh, turn them in. Prosecutors say Abdeslam wasn't just in hiding, Scott. He was planning further attacks. He's been at this high security prison since Saturday. His lawyer told us he is cooperating with investigators. Charlie Daggett on the story tonight. Charlie, thank you.